Prince William and Kate also have an event planned for World Mental Health Day. Kensington Palace says, My name is Mercy and I welcome you all to our YouTube channel. If you have not subscribed, kindly consider doing so before we get into today's video. And so, Prince Harry and Meghan confirmed to People magazine that they would be in New York City for a first in-person actual foundation event that will mark the World Mental Health Day. Now, in this summit that will be hosted by Harry and Meghan, it will provide a good platform for parents navigating mental health challenges in digital age. Parents who have experienced tragic loss connected to their children's social media use will be featured in this particular event. I just can't wait to see Harry and Meghan in that event. Now, what I love about Harry and Meghan participating in the mental health awareness is because they are so authentic. You all know that with Harry and Meghan, it's not about a photo opportunity. It's because mental health underpins everything they do. And we all can attest to that. In Harry's memoir, he spoke about his mental health struggles from losing his mother, the trauma he experienced up until he met Meghan. And also, in Harry and Meghan documentary series, Meghan talked about the struggles she went through with the mental health due to the bullying from the UK media. This event almost led to her taking her own life while she was pregnant with Prince Archie. At some point, Meghan encouraged Harry to go through some therapy sessions because of the trauma they went through. And so, from that point, we can say that mental health and well-being is something that both Harry and Meghan have always been talking about ever since. They always advocate for mental wellness. But can we say the same with William and Kate? No. In fact, they have been part of the problem. All these problems surrounds between William and Kate and their entire British royal family. After all the haunting and mental trauma that Diana, his own mother, went through, and William had the audacity to refer his mom as a paranoid. Again, Harry and Meghan exposed William and Kate for the bullies they are. And I personally think they are such big bullies. Anyone can know. They really treated Harry and Meghan in a horrible way. William and Kate were very much big part of the troubles that Harry and Meghan went through and all the trauma they got especially while in the royal family. And now, William and Kate are also pretending to participate in this mental health advocacy. I think, okay, it's not wrong to be advocating for mental health, but the fact remains, William and Kate are doing it for PR and the photo opportunities. But for Harry and Meghan, they are genuine about it. We can all attest to that. Megan, having been through such challenges in her life resonates with many people who are currently in such situations. For Kate and William, it's purely a competition. We even saw that when Kate started copying Megan's fashion styles. And now they are trying to copy every move that Harry and Megan are making. But what I am sure of is that William and Kate will never match the work that Harry and Meghan do. That is it for today's video. Kindly give your own opinions in the comment section. 
and until next time it's a bye bye